After Nicole converted to Islam, she and Hassan found a deeper appreciation for each other, fell in love, and were married. But Nicole was faced with more new challenges that converting to Islam often brings, including an awkward period with her parents and family. When we were getting married, they didn't know how to feel. Um, they didn't know, like, is she doing this? because of of that man it, you know they didn't really know my husband that well um and they were questioning everything like did she do this for this guy they kind of took it really hard and it was a struggle for them but um so when we got married i think that that was really hard for them and they felt like we can't support this you know we we don't want to be there and we don't want to support this and I think that now they probably, maybe they wish that they wouldn't have been that way because now they love my husband. They think he's great, you know, he loves to do everything that they want to do. I used to think that one day she's going to say, I'm, I'm not going to be Muslim anymore. This is too complicated for me. <laughs> I used to think that more in the beginning of our relationship, you know, like when right after we get married. And, but now I feel more comfortable about it. I feel she has a strong uh, belief about her religion and she's not going to just drop the ball and walk away. <laughs> so this is too complicated for me. I feel like we are definitely a team when it comes to keeping each other with our religion. We, we have to keep each other on the, the right path. And I think that that's kind of one of the big purposes of, uh, of a Muslim married couple is that you keep each other on this direction um, whenever we're facing different challenges because you are going to face challenges living in in America um, and then trying to live as a Muslim. So we help each other kind of resist the temptations that we face. Um, we remind each other of what we're trying to do and what we want for our children one day, inshallah. And I can look at him and tell at a moment when he is having a struggle, even if he doesn't say it, and he can do the same for me. And so it's just that ability to know and love each other that much that you Allah you want Allah. to see the other person as a successful muslim you know you want him to love islam as much as you do and you look at him and think like i want to feel as passionate as he does you know so we look at each other and push ourselves in the right direction This is the main foyer area for the Islamic Association of North Texas. Uh, this is where I first began my Islamic classes. I would come every Sunday, I would go up the staircase right there to learn about the foundation of Islam. Um, it was about five months later that I took my Shahada in the Imam's office here at the Richardson Mosque. Um, I've become like a member of the family here and this is where me and my husband come for our prayers. Eventually, the Islamic Association of North Texas is going to grow into an Islamic village. They're going to be adding shops, restaurants, and educational institutions. The community here is growing very rapidly. Daily, we probably don't live the typical life of a Muslim couple. We're usually not home together having a big meal every night and things like that. We usually have something that we have to work on. I would say it's a little different than the typical Muslim family who's home together a lot and who kind of has like, it's a little easier lifestyle that they have compared to ours. Everything that we do, we make a decision like, is this what God would want us to do? Is this where he'd want us to be? I love barbecue. So we buy halal chicken and we have barbecue out on the patio and we invite friends over. We take the right choices by who our friends are. We take the right choices about where we're going to buy our barbecue chicken at, you know, um, but we still do it. I mean, it's just a, it's a way of life, but it doesn't mean you don't have one. Have some iced tea? Yeah, this looks really good. 
Hi there. Hey. Welcome to our ranch. Thank you so much. Looks Thank you like for having, having us. us. Looks like you're ready to ride. Yeah, yeah. we're ready to go. Well, let's go find the horses. All right. Ride the barn. miss out on anything that a southern girl would get to do, you know, like I do everything that I would have done before. Um, I just find a way to do it and so I can still be Muslim and I can still go horseback riding with my husband um, out at a ranch, you know, we do that frequently. I think that in Islam, something that sets it apart from other religions is the ease of it, the simplicity. And I know that may sound strange to some people um, because they would think Islam is not easy. Look at how difficult your life is, you know, with this religion and how challenging it is. But the simplicity that I'm speaking of is when you need to make a decision and when you're going somewhere and when you're buying clothing to wear and when you when you walk out the door Islam helps you to make the decision to respect yourself I think that Islam takes you and your personality and it washes it off when I became a Muslim it was like somebody gave me a bath. It was like um, what Christians uh, follow is a baptism. I think that in Islam, like I said, it's kind of like you wake up from the nightmare that you were living and you get to wake up and live the life that you were meant to live. So besides the photography, um, I tried to give back a little bit to the community and to the people um, about converting to Islam and about being an American Muslim. So um, what I thought of was all of the different challenges that I had faced when I was converting and wanted to create a website that would help people who were also going through those same difficulties. So one of the biggest challenges that I faced when I was converting was finding my identity. Um, as an American Muslim, you don't really feel a lot like an American anymore. Um, you feel like you don't quite fit in with your friends and family the way that you used to. When you're also on the other side as a Muslim, you're still uh, not the same as they are, not the same as a person from a Muslim country, and you may not look or act the same way that they do. So you kind of feel like, where do I belong? So I made another site, and it's a blog page uh, that helps define a little more of the Muslim American identity. So I have articles and stories and videos on there um, just describing who we are as American Muslims because my goal with that site is to give us a more positive representation and to make it to where the first thing that someone thinks of when they think of a Muslim is going to be completely different than what they think now. I find that uh, here in America, I know that people think um, it must be hard to be a Muslim that's an American living in America. And I did find out what it's like to be treated different, to be like, to be looked at by your own people as somebody that's foreign. And I am very proud to be American. I'm all about being an American and being a Muslim. Uh, this is a faith.
it's a religion. It's it's not a race. It's not you know what color of skin I am. It's not anything like that. It's just a faith that I follow. It's a, a lifestyle that I live. So um, I kind of feel bad for people when they when all that they know is completely wrong from what we stand for. Assalamu alaikum. Sisters, thank you so much for coming. And so I really devote a lot of time and a lot of energy to speaking out to people about being an American Muslim and about how this is a different aspect. This is a different aspect of Islam than they've ever seen. You know, this is people who only know and only live the faith. I converted uh, to Islam three months ago and um, I came today to hear Nicole's lecture uh, just regarding life without Islam as a reminder, you know, what, what life was without it. Um, everything that she said, you know, I couldn't relate, you know, because I understand what cultural norms there are here in the West um, and, and how it contrast with, you know, the ideals of the religion. Hello. Welcome to Good Way. Thank you. What would you like to drink? Yeah, I'm going to have iced tea. Okay. And for you to move it. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. My message would be to people when they want to learn about our faith um, is to just listen and look at how we live our lives, like on a daily basis. So um, I wouldn't talk about the differences and I wouldn't focus on, well, you believe this and you're wrong and this is the right way. And I, I don't talk like that about Islam. When I talk to people, I like to show them um, the simplicity of it. I like to tell people all of the things that are so similar to what they're already believing in their lives. and show them how the things that they face and the challenges that you face in life, um, there are answers for everything, you know, and there are guidances for everything to make it easy on yourself and to help you to make the right decision about common things that we have to do in life, about getting married, about how to treat your family, about what you do for a living, uh, raising your, your children, you know, everything. There is a guidance in this faith to help you to be the best person that you can be in whatever you do. If it's your career, if it's how you are with your friends, if it's the things that you do for fun, the way that you socialize, everything about your life, um, this faith has an answer for it and able to give you the, the chance to be the best that you can and to do the best with your life and to make the most of it and to live for a greater purpose. One of the biggest messages that people don't really notice and that isn't projected is that it is simple answers to your life's problems. I'm really proud of Nicole uh, taking all these changes and it's easy to convert but it's not easy to continue this uh, in this life because you have to make changes all the time. I see so many people they convert to Islam but uh, easily they give up uh, on their new life. So I just want to say I'm so happy uh, and proud of Nicole.